Today is day 26 of Ramadan and we are going to talk about Abu Bakr as Siddiq who was the first caliph and with us is Yazid Ibrahim. So what can you tell us about Abu Bakr? Well, um, as we all know that he is the first rightly guided caliph. He is one of the first people to believe in, to believe in Islam. Also the best friend of the prophet. It is no surprise how he went on to become one of the first United Caliph and the father of one of the mothers of the believers and raising children like Asma and Aisha. Uh, born with the name Abdullah bin Uthba, um, he, was, he had a lot of other names, but his most famous monica was Siddiq, um, from, the root, from the root word Siddiq, meaning truthful. Um, this name was given to him after the journey of the Prophet to Iswa Wal Miraj. When no one believed, when nobody was really believing that the Prophet could complete such a journey, um, Abaka Siddiq had no doubt that the Prophet could do that. Um, Rasulullah highlighted Abaka Siddiq as an example for the remaining companions in the hadith which goes thus Verily, um, verily when Allah sent me to you, you say I am lying. Meanwhile, Abakar said he has spoken the truth. Um, he has spoken the truth. He then consoled me by sacrificing himself and his wealth. So, will you not leave my companion and abstain from harming him or doing him any harm? From this, we can know that he's trying to say that Abakar as Siddiq um, is one of his best companions. Well, it is not possible to condense all of the um, things that Abaka has done in his life in a single article. So we're going to take just two events. One done the early prophethood of the Muhammad وسلم, and after the death of the Prophet. During the early days of Islam, the um, Prophet stood and delivered a sermon um, in front of um, inviting the Quraysh to come and listen to the sermon. Enraged by this, the Quraysh um, attacked him. Um, but Abakar came to his defense. But when Abakar came to his defense, he was also beaten mercilessly by a specific person called Uthba bin Wabia. This um, Uthba, Uthba bin Wabia struck his face so bad that you could, a lot of people could scarcely distinguish his facial, his facial look. Um, after this, um, if not because of his clansmen by no time, Abaka Asidi could have died that day. Even with this condition, after Abaka regained consciousness, his, the first thing he asked for was for the Prophet. After, um, then his mother told him that he is um, in the house of al Alka, and Abaka Asidi vowed not to eat or drink until he sees the Prophet. Then after the streets have calmed down for a while, his mother took him to go and see um, the prophet. Critics would deem what um, Abakar did as foolish, but Allah has said that um, invites to Islam with the best of speech. Maybe plenty of people might not have believed in Islam that day, but do you know how many seeds that that man has planted in the Quraysh? Do you know how much he has raised in sight of Allah? Do you know how many people he has inspired by that act of courage? If we cannot physically change things, why not just use our words just like, the, just like Abu Bakr as Siddiq? We can just preach about Islam, um, not just be looking as people just go against it. Um, right now, as we all know, Islam is, is at a very, is not at a really bad state, but our aqida is being challenged from childhood, whereas um, Islam is on par with Santa Claus. Can you believe that? Where um, women, particularly in the West, are banned from wearing hijab or even encouraged to wear hijab 
just as a promotion of freedom, not as a belief in Islam. If you have told us so much about Bakar Siddiq, you have told us about how selfless he was when it came to the prophets, how much he loved him and how kind he was. Thank you so much. And that's a wrap for the 26th of Ramadan. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and YouTube at Meduna NG. And don't forget to smash that like button. Assalam. Thank you.